Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Bluffton, South Carolina. And we're gonna do a little miniature South Carolina road trip today. And I'm joined by a special guest. This is Stephanie Stuckey. Hey y'all. And uh, you are the CEO of Stuckey's Gas Stations, correct? Yeah, so more importantly, I'm the granddaughter of the founder and uh, the home of the pecan log roll so yeah we're going on a little road trip we're visiting stucky stopping at some fun places along the way and our first stop is the world's largest boiled yes peanut. world's largest yeah. boiled peanut not just the world's largest peanut but the world's largest boiled peanut now there was i think this might temporarily be the world's largest peanut because in ashburn georgia had the world's largest peanut up on a pedestal that you could drive by on the highway. But two years ago, that blew down in a, in a windstorm and was smashed and is and it's currently missing. So, so I don't know, we may, may see the return of the Ashburn peanut, but right now we'll have to settle for this. And I really do love the fact that they did make the distinction. This is not the world's largest yeah. peanut. But look how they spelled it, it's B-O-L dash D. How do you pronounce that? Ball, 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 Boiled? Boiled? I'm from the south and I'm bald. Uh, I'm not. It's 29 cents. Yeah. 29 cents. So, you got some real boiled peanuts we, there. We're, yeah, we're actually, you can buy, so this is part of Cahill's grocery store and restaurant. And you can buy, of course, boiled peanuts. They also have green peanuts in there, peanut butter. What are green peanuts? It's when they're freshly picked. Okay. Peanut, by the way, is not nut. It's legume. So it does not count in officially as a nut these are really good jacob you have to try some really and the other you know because i'm from georgia and ashburn is in georgia i'll talk about the other famous peanut in georgia which is at the jimmy carter birthplace in plains georgia yes it's got a jimmy carter's face it's on it jimmy carter's face it's got the big smile it's totally worth the trip to plains all right so now let me get this peanut open here yeah do you need me to help hold the camera oh my then it's got um some seasoning on it so, yeah, this is the way to make boiled peanuts. Those of you who aren't from the South and aren't used to boiled peanuts, it really is a delicacy. This is the caviar of the South. Yeah, kind of as a- You can like crush these up and they make great dip. And boiled peanut they, dip. Yeah, and they've put, yeah, peanut hummus. They've put- um, Oh, they put peanut like hummus. They put like jalapeno. There's a little bit of heat in this. Now, this is in the morning, but this is a really great way to wake up. Yeah, that, people always people always ask me, people that, that haven't experienced, I've always asked what do boiled peanuts taste like? And it's kind of like, um, I always describe it as, as kind of the, the saltiness and almost texture of like an olive, but you know, of course, tastes like a peanut. It tastes like a peanut, but it doesn't because it's boiled. Um, so, highly recommend these and they're kind of entertaining, I think, you know, yeah. Got to, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of people say you suck the suck, suck the salt out of them, all the salt, yeah. salt water. Here's another one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, these are one of these are one of my favorite road trip road trip snack foods. It's the, definitely the boiled peanut. Yeah. So the other thing while we're here, we should just mention, give a shout out. They've got uh, a little bit of a, a farm display, so you can see their their chickens and looks like there's a couple roosters in there um if you walk way in the back there's a there's a mule a mule can we go see the mule can we see the mule <laughs> wait well i found them earlier might have to walk around and see if we can discover them <laughs> yeah we got a few halloween decorations back in here grandma and grandpa are really creepy yeah i got a little sitting there little and granny got a, grandpa. grandpa's got a chain are they chained together grandpa no grandpa's chained to the chair okay looks like grandma could run run away but it, that is really creepy then we got the werewolf up there yeah and it's in a shed that's got yeah it's just kind of a random like shed here it's got tools in here and some of these tools look like they're from the 1800s <laughs> oh we got our uh chickens over here hey guys oh look there's a turkey Oh yeah, it's almost Thanksgiving. <laughs> Just saying, buddy, they're fattening you up. Be very afraid if they're giving you extra helpings right now. I don't know, it looks like the donkeys may have gone into hiding. Oh wait, there we go, we can see the... 
There they are. See the little donkeys grazing. Some different hot sauces here. Different pickled items. A decrepit demon skull. So this is Cahill's Market. This is the home of the world's largest peanut. Established 1918. Okay, it's the world's largest boiled peanut. Or is it now, it is now the world's largest peanut, I guess, because... World's largest boiled peanut. Because the peanut... The world's the largest peanut burned, for now. Georgia fell down. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so this is it for boiled peanuts inside Cahill's Market. Apparently, they don't publicize at all that this is home of the world's largest boiled peanut, which is a bit of a mismarketing opportunity. <laughs> like, if you look around here, right, so it's a great general store, but they've got merchandise, and... It really would be a nice little selling point if some of their, all this great vegetables. Look at these t-shirts, okay? T-shirts. Okay, I like this, I like this. But they had a boiled peanut. It said world's largest boiled peanut on here. Oh yeah, would, buy it in a second. I'd be all over <laughs> that, so I'm just saying. So apparently they do have a boiled peanut festival here in Bluffton and this uh, the store is kind of where they house the boiled peanut when it's not uh, being paraded around at the festival. We stopped off in Hardyville, South Carolina and driving through South Carolina, it does appear the primary industry here is roadside firework warehouses. So you've been you've been uh, checking out all the firework stands in your in your travels. Absolutely, we do not miss a firework stand. We pull over, we're getting a bang out of them. The last sign was awesome. Get bang out of here. <laughs> I love where they say we're the South's largest, and who's gonna challenge them? Uh, who's gonna check? Right. Also, this one right here, apparently they sell fruitcakes. Claxton fruitcake. Yeah, that's Claxton, Georgia. Stucky sells a lot of fruitcake. This time of year especially, it's fall, even though it's very hot today. So, we should definitely go in and check out the, the fruitcake. Definitely. This particular firework stand is known for their two elephants out front. We have a gray one, and we have a pink one. Their name, name whether Big Al and Lizzie. Which I'm, I'm just taking a guess that uh, is Lizzie the pink one? Yeah, she's um pastel. And then we have Big Al, Big Al right there. This little M80 explosion. All these different fireworks, wicked willows. These ones are called Outlawed in Carolina, which is confusing because we are in Carolina. So what is this? It's flaming balls. Is that, is that a picture of like... Flaming or explaining? Oh, but is that the... Um, what That's is the Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Why has it got a picture of the Supreme Court on it? It's got the Supreme Court I mean, on it. I'm sure... Uh, so who let the dogs out? Yeah, that's a good one. And then... Wife's, wife's revenge? revenge? What? Like, what is that? What is it? Who's the wife? Like, I think one of these is the wife, and one may be, I guess, a mistress? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. See, like, she's, like, about to... Um, but she's smiling, yeah, so she's I don't know. Yeah, she's about to get some revenge. <laughs> this is for kid, this kid pack yeah, this powers? is the kid-friendly pack. <laughs> okay, as a mother, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. There's nothing. Let me see this. Uh, the smoke balls. Those are pretty fun. Yeah. Um, well, these are the pops. You just pop, throw them pop, on the ground. Pop, yeah. I think this chicken like lays an egg when you light it. Yeah, I've I've done a few of those in my day. Wow. So yeah, nothing too uh, explosive. I don't think. Too dangerous. Yeah, the, the names here are amazing. Shotgun wedding. Parrots prattle. Uncle Sam's answer. Brothers heavy weights. Blonde joke? Some of these seem like really random. This is that Arthur dude's sword. Um, it says to light the wick at the end. It's I like just a, like a. Is it like a Roman candle kind of? 
I don't know. It's, uh, does it shoot like fireballs? I mean, is it we'll just a? Fight and find out. <laughs> Are we gonna have a fl we gonna have a flaming sword fight in the parking lot? I'm getting one of these. The black cat. Yeah. They do have one with Lizzie, Lizzie and Big Al on it. I know, but it's on my size. But I love. They've just got this random scarf here. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you know, pick up some. The scarf. Accessories here. <laughs> Here's the Claxton fruit case. Fruit cake. And right okay. next to the rebel flags. Uh oh. All right, and they've got a competitor from Ken Lottle. Oh, non stuckies no. not on off brand non stuckies. Off -brand. I gotta talk to the ownership here. <laughs> yeah, I got some big giant gator heads here. Next door we have me Tarita's Mexican restaurant. It's curious. Is they they serve Mexican food and New York style pizza. All right, we've stopped off here in Buford, South Carolina, at Kazubi's Kazoo. Not only is this a store that sells kazoos, but they also have a kazoo factory tour. Have you ever wondered where kazoos came from? You're about to find out. Oh, well, here is the Kazoo Museum portion of the tour. See the metal kazoo there. Look at these tiny little kazoos, tiny little tin kazoos. It's a record there of kazoo music. So actually brass instrument style kazoos. They look like different instruments, but they are kazoos indeed. And these kazoos are made to look like Popeye's pipe. A fish shaped kazoo. Some more uh, kazoo records. We have the kazoo, Kazoo's Brothers. This is called Kazoophony. There's the Temple City Kazoo Orchestra. Right there we have a 24 karat gold kazoo. It's got to be pretty valuable. And a Scooby-Doo kazoo. A Mickey Mouse kazoo. A wooden kazoo right there. And uh, oh wow this kazoo right here is actually used. A screen used prop from the Partridge family. That's pretty amazing. The kazoo shaped like a saxophone, kazoo shaped like a car, the kazooophone. I guess it has like a magnif like a, a tube on it to to, to amplify. Oh yeah, so it amplifies the sound three times. A submarine kazoo. And look at that giant thing. It's a famous Amos kazoo. I guess he was the the guy that made uh, cookies. His own brand of kazoos. Kazoo shaped like a cow head. Some of these animal character kazoos. Does anyone know what these characters are from? I'm not really sure. The Mr. Peanut kazoo. Oh, just say yes, these are all different kazoos from different companies, different marketing kazoos. And uh, yeah, that, that kazoo is Ronald McDonald's foot. This is Big Dave's fish collar. Apparently you can attract fish by blowing this massive kazoo. It says this is Rich Hubbard's original kazoo. Rich Hubbard uh, known as the king of kazoos. Kazoo Kazoo Josie and the Kazoo Band. You on kazoo. I guess this is a kazoo training video. And there is an electric kazoo when you know the power of your mouth just isn't enough. All right, headed to the back for the factory tour, the uh, kazoo the factory back, tour. Into the back, you can see a poster on the wall of the map of the world. Um, all those pins are all the different places that we have set kazoos over the years. Uh, so you can see uh, where we've gone and where we're headed to, sort of. Um, as you can see, some of the colder areas don't have a lot of kazoo sales. <laughs> so we're gonna start with our capping stations. We got two capping stations, so we can get two people working at the same time. We have one right here and one right there. Everything that's back here runs off of pneumatic, so we have a giant air tank in the back you'll hear. It can chunk on every once in a while as it sucks in air and puts that air under pressure. So when it comes to our capping station, we grab our kazoo with no cap. 
We grab our cap with no kazoo, and now we're missing that little resonating piece, the little piece that vibrates when I hum, sing, or talk. Uh, this little stuff right here makes my fingers a little bit sticky, just a little bit tacky. And what that enables me to do is pick up a resonator without having to pinch one up off the table. I don't want to pinch my resonator because if I pinch my resonator, it makes it not sound so good. Uh, so what we want to do when it comes to our resonator is we want it nice and round. We want just the one, no holes, no cuts, no divots. We want it nice and flat. And we want to take this little guy and put it directly into our kazoo just like this. If you look inside the kazoo, I don't know, it might be hard to see with this yellow. You can see a line that goes around the inside of that tower. You can watch it as it goes in. It stops right at that line and it doesn't go past it. I want the machine to do the rest of the work for me. This is the capper. It comes down with a pressure of 130 pounds and pops that cap onto the rest of the way for me. I'm making it nice and secure in my kazoo. Uh, at the end of the tour, you get to make your own kazoo. Uh, it's going to be done the exact same way. You're going to want to take it by the small end. You're going to want to put the big end into the capper. And you're going to want to push straight back. So we got this guy and we're just going to push. And that ka-chunk sound was the air coming down, um, pushing the cap onto my kazoo. So now it's in my kazoo. It's locked in there. It's not coming out again. Uh, now I checked this uh, before we started our tour. So I know how many we have in here, so I can't play the game. But if you would like to play a guessing game, to guess how many we have in my tub. Um, generally, it's price is right guessing rules, so it's the closest to it without going over. Uh, you don't win anything other than the uh, satisfaction of being correct. <laughs> Would anyone like to take a guess? 500. 500 is guessing. Eight. Eight. Gold. I like it. 276. 276, I like it. Going underneath. Anyone else? 250. 250, I like it. Uh, 310. 310. 310. We're at 350, so I believe 320, 327 right here, 327. What was it, Meg? Yeah, 310. Okay. <laughs> My uh, co-worker's name is Sarah. She makes these guys as the holidays approach. She's a very creative individual. Uh, it's a lot of fun to see what she comes up with. Uh, for Valentine's Day, she made Forrest Gump and Jenny from the Forrest Gump movie. Um, and then Father's Day was right after that, so then she did two little kids. <laughs> two little kazoo kids. Um, but you know, you have the little Thanksgiving guy the ugly Christmas sweater parties that people go to. She did Robin, uh, but no Batman, because that's the first Robin of spring. Uh, that's sort of her humor. Um, I find it a little offensive. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, what color? Uh, what color? How about a, how about a green kazoo? Uh, we got the light green and the dark green. Uh, let's go with the light green. I love it. And then what color cap? Uh, red. Red, you got it. Christmas. Now we do have a uh, uh, sort of a fire engine red and a um, uh, darker red. Let's go with fire garnet. engine. I believe we call it garnet. <laughs> fire engine red. Yes, sir. So take the little resonator, put it in the top, put the little cap on it, and hand it to you. Okay. Then you're going to take the small end, you're going to put the big end into the capper. This is screwed into the table, so it's not going to go okay. anywhere. And then you just push straight back. All right. It feels like you're gonna break it, but you're not. Uh, push it back a little bit. There you go, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, All right, like there quick, we go. Quick. It almost matched perfectly. I need a little black writing on it. No, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done, man, well done. So there we go, our own personal kazoo. It says, I visited the kazoo museum, Buford, South Carolina. All right, we have to test our kazoo to make sure it is functional. Put the mask off for a second. Is that a good kazoo noise? <laughs> the gift shop here, all these different styles of kazoos. They have the amplifier on them. Get that shirt. Keep calm and kazoo on. We have electric kazoos in the gift shop. So this is the kazoo that really rocks. We have some gender reveal kazoos. It's a good way to reveal a gender. It won't catch the forest on fire or anything. Oh wow, look at this. We have a race car kazoo, a locomotive kazoo, and a tractor kazoo. Alright, take a little pit stop here at this iconic roadside gas station. There's different sizes and types of Pecan rolls. Oh, actually. What are those? That's caramel a corn. caramel corn. And it's our new packaging. So, yeah, these are really delicious. So, what's the dip? There's two different kinds. There's. Is that the double? It's just a different size. Oh, it's a large. Yeah, one's a four ounce and one's a six ounce. And then that's a two ounce. 
And then we also have a 10 ounce. <laughs> what about this zombie head right here? The zombie head's kind of interesting, right? It's got a, it's got a cool little, yeah, it's a goth, there's a goth theme here, a little collection of goth. And then you got the sparkle goth because... Sparkle goth? Everyone needs some sparkle goth. Oh, look at that, we got um, Christmas ornaments. Yeah, yeah, tis the season, and they blink. And uh, the James Dean mux. Yep. We've got the uh, South of the Border themed uh, salt yeah. and pepper. Pedro the dog. Pedro the chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> and then this dots in here says, I am a wiener. I'm a wiener. <sighs> yeah, and look, it's like at a little bar here. This is, you know, who wouldn't want this? So this is multifunctional. Oh, you got your, you got your uh, knock and holder uh, <laughs> and salt. <laughs> who doesn't need this? This in their home. It's, this is a coaster. It's a coaster? It's a coaster. Oh, okay. And it's an ashtray. And it's, it's cute. And it's looks like shotgun shells. You can even, I don't know, you probably couldn't put it on your wall, but I mean, you could put coins in it. Like, this is multi <laughs> So it's a wedding kit for a very small wedding children. Wedding Even has a little tiny marriage license. These are really small. So you have a little stucky, mm -hmm. stucky dog. Yeah, stucky dog. Yeah, so it's this, got a little And I was telling you, I was telling you, I was telling you earlier about about stuck oh, yeah, about Stucky the dog that, that got stuck in a log. Yeah, so here you go. <laughs> Stucky the dog. I stop off here at another Stuckies. Now these Stuckies actually uh, the modern day Stuckies, a lot of them are in other gas stations. They're a, a, a section of a gas station. So this is actually a BP that we're at, but they have a Stuckies section inside the gas station. So, and uh, no animals were killed in the making of that. It's faux. It's a faux fur. It's a faux fur. Yeah, yeah. So we're redesigning these labels. The new labels, I think, are going to look awesome. There's going to come. I have not soon. eaten these since I was a small child. Yeah, and you know, I I heard recently like these have a very short shelf life. Oh, do they? Yeah. So, because I mean, have you ever bitten into one that's not good? I, I it's just you gotta have them when they're moist, but like when they're dry, it's so their consistency doesn't hang on. Yeah, very it's. Well. it's it's dry and flaky if you don't eat them right away. This like a cereal brick? Those are ridiculously yummy. <laughs> yeah, it's a giant Krispy Kreme marshmallow thing. Although I don't, it's not officially Krispy Kreme, but those are delicious. And this is some of our new branding, so really like this. You know, I think this... The little we're family there in a car going on vacation. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're rebranding, so this is the new branding. And this is, these are the old packaging, which we'll be, we'll be rebranding as we fall, you know, as we go out through the packaging. But this is some of our new packaging, which I think looks really good. And we're yeah. going with a happy family in the car. Can't beat that. Find highway happiness. Of course, more South Carolina fireworks. Here we have Hobo Joe's fireworks. And look at Hobo Joe right there. What a mascot. And here we stopped off to see something truly amazing. Bowman, South Carolina's UFO Welcome Center. Looks like there's an alien right here. Let's see, flying saucer parking, mothership, space people. Face people only enter at your own risk. Don't know what this device is. Almost looks like some sort of radar machine. At one in about 2001. So the top part was built in 2001? Yeah. Between then is when I saw that UFO in 99. Yeah. Eight miles away. Eight miles from here? Yeah, when you go back home, go down this road, and when you come to the stop sign, across the street it says Four Holes Community. That's where they were in Four Holes Community. Yeah. Don't know why the toilet says Joe on it. Joe Sparks. Yeah, watch your stop. Oh yeah, you still get to the top. Happy Easter Space, man. 
Reading the guest book. Yes. All right. Oh, we are all aliens to each other. All right, we can go up the ladder here. Okay, I don't know if this is the most stable ladder, but you know, it's not always that you're inside a UFO. Oh, let's at least poke our head up here. And this is the very tippy top of the UFO. I would go all the way up, but I literally do not fit through that hole. I would end up getting Winnie the Pooh if I tried to go any further. I can peek out of this side hole right here. See the Sitco gas station on the corner. It says Venus and Jupiter have caused virus. Dime tap took my cough away. UFO man. Hmm. This missile says I'm back from Area 51 rush. 9 20, 2019, 3 a.m. Yeah. Those were the days when the Area 51 rush was the biggest thing in the news. Said someone left the alien here? Greetings from planet Earth. I'm glad you made it. My dad bought them in 66. I built this in 96. Okay. Who knew I needed it 30 years later? <laughs> oh, maybe it took off here. Took a trip and came back. And went there and come back. Yeah. Go like this and lay down. Mm -hmm. And then the little ones hang. So actually, it goes like this. And it was hollered out. And the rumor is the UFO flew by, tilted it, and it landed in, there you in go. my front living room. Where I used to sleep at. You got UFO on your truck there? Yeah, it still runs. This one runs. Got an alien there in the front. So thank you for joining me on uh, our road trip through South Carolina. Big thank you to uh, Stephanie Stuckey for inviting me along. Um, so check out a Stuckey's. Stop by a Stuckey's. Buy a, buy a pecan roll, you won't regret it. Uh, if you'd like to see other places I've been on my road trips, check the interactive map in the description of this video. If you would uh, like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also now selling two separate types of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Until next time, this one's in the bag.